Hey folks, uh, we're doing the uh, Grease Cell T1000 coffee pot test, which is going to tax the living heck out of our inverter. Uh, it says 733 watts so far. It'll probably get closer to, uh, well, anyway, it's gonna, I think this one pulls, I'm not sure sometimes up to 900 watts. So we'll see when it gets uh, fully heated. Uh, but the coffee pot is on. And uh, this is the first time I've heard the fans run on the Greasel T1000. Uh, the pass-through charging is working great. Um, and we are really taxing the inverter here since it's only a thousand watt inverter. Uh, so we'll see how well this does and uh, I don't, we don't know what the voltage is um, at this point but uh, our fan is going like a like a bat out of heck yep. and our coffee pot is kicking on so we'll see if it can handle this heavy load, which is over 75% according to this watt meter of the inverter capacity. Now it says the peak on this inverter is quite a bit, okay? And something else I wanted to cover while we're on this video, each section has an isolation button, which is really nice. So I can isolate the inverter side so you're not ghosting power. The USBs, you can isolate those so they're not ghosting. You can isolate our DC out ports, so they're not isolating. The only thing I noticed you can't isolate is your input, uh, your two inputs there. So that's one thing I, I noticed. Now, I also noticed I didn't show you this light, but you can see it's shining on the pot. It is super bright, I tell you. I could set camp up by that. So another nice little feature so here we are running at 726 watts. We're percolating coffee, I can hear it. And if we can get through this whole pot of coffee, well then I will be impressed. And that means that this little unit for $500 will do pretty much everything I need at camp. And I only paid $500 for it. I got a thousand watt hours or 999 watt hours of power and it's light okay when this compared to my ecoflow because the ecoflow has 260 more watt hours the weight difference is significant i have to say that now the, um and i'll do a further detailed review on it but i just wanted to show it is making my pot of coffee from my little uh coffee maker that i use uh for camping um and it's an eight cup coffee maker uh, it's, you know, it's nothing special, just a black and decker, I think. No, but Mr. Coffee. Um, so that's another reason why I got that coffee pot is because it's not pulling 1,200 watts. And I didn't want to max out my my power stations. Um, and I've been using this coffee pot for over a year. It's great. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. So it looks like it's passing the coffee pot test. I will do a initial uh, review here shortly. And I will tell you how the end of the coffee pot test comes out uh, when I do it. And that way we know, because uh, we've only just started, we're only, what, three minutes into this, four minutes. So the coffee's going to take probably seven to nine minutes to make. So anyway, uh, I'll get back to you. It's the Grease Cell T1000. And so far it's performing well, pass through. Uh, being able to isolate all the compartments, ghost power, it is fantastic. I'll put it up there with my EcoFlow, if not better than the EcoFlow with the inverter on. This little box is doing all right so far. So far, so good. Jim out.